This model is of a muscle cell. <clears throat> so the entire structure here is a muscle cell. And then we're looking at the neuromuscular junction. So this is a motor neuron here coming in, motor neuron, and then the axon terminals. So the axon terminals are coming in contact with the muscle cell membrane. So this here is the sarcolemma. This would be the um, endomecium, but this is the sarcolemma coming in contact with this motor neuron. So this is an axon terminal. And then if we look at the close-up view of one of these, this one here actually, as it makes contact with the muscle cell, we can see the close-up view here that I took. So this is that motor neuron, just looking at it a little more closely. <clears throat> Here's the motor neuron. So the gray here is what we call the presynaptic membrane. It's the plasma membrane of the axon terminal. And then the space here, shown in red, this is the synaptic cleft. So that's the space between the motor neuron and the muscle cell membrane. So the space is the synaptic cleft. And the white kind of zigzagging line here, this is the motor end plate. It's also the sarcolemma of the muscle cell membrane, but it's directly beneath the motor neuron, so we call it the motor end plate. So you've got the axon terminal, this whole thing, the presynaptic membrane, which is the plasma membrane of the neuron, and then you have the red space, which is the synaptic cleft, and then the motor end plate here. So that's where these two come together. The entire structure is called the neuromuscular junction, where the two, where the nerve, where the neuron and the muscle cell come together. And then this is the inside of the muscle cell. So these are each myofibrils here. So each one of these cylindrical units is a myofibril. And that is just, again, a close-up of this model view here. This is the outside view. So these are all those myofibrils. And um, each of these is made up of actin and myosin. But actin and myosin will be shown to you most likely in a diagram. And you can look at that in your textbook. Um, I can give you a figure number here for actin and myosin. Let's see, it's in chapter 10. Actually, chapter 9 is the muscle tissue chapter. So a good picture of actin and myosin is on page, well, I'm going to give you a figure number because I'm using an older edition. Figure 9.2 shows the microscopic, microscopic anatomy of a skeletal muscle fiber. Look at letter D that focuses in and it'll show you actin and myosin. So the thicker red filament in the middle is actin and the outer blue is myosin. And I can show you that here in the book. I'll just move my iPad here. So you could look at it this way. Um, either way it works, but this is the red bars are the actin, I'm sorry, are the myosin, and the blue lines are the actin. Or if we look at it even closer up, here again, the large red lines are myosin, and the thinner blue lines are actin. So just think actin thin, thinner myofilaments. So both actin and myosin are called myofilaments. And that's the microscopic anatomy of muscle that you need to know for this lab.